Hey everybody, what is going on? This is Kansas or Greg, and you are correct. This is not Gears of War three. This is Diablo three. Excuse me. If you hear me burp a couple times, it's because I just had Olive Garden, so I should get a pass or something. So, anyways, this is Diablo three. This is my character. This is my stats. Um, they're not very good because I sold all my crap when I got bored of Diablo three. And yeah, I'm wearing some. Cane, I think they're cane stuff. I'm wearing three of them, so I get 30% XP bonus. Because it's all about the Paragon leveling now, right? But anyways, what I was saying was, what was I saying? What I was saying was, I sold all my crap because I got bored. You know, I when it, when Diablo three first came out, I played like crazy, went all the way through an Inferno, beat Diablo in Inferno. Then I was like, you know what? This game sucks. So I sold all my stuff, and yes, I die right here. No, whatever. I had crappy gear. I have crappy gear. I just did this today, so I have crappy gear. I wasn't paying attention. I got jailed. There was laser beams, you know, sharks with laser beam out their freaking heads. Whatever. I died. Get over it. It's the only time it happens. It happens to everybody. If you say you don't die, then I don't believe. You. But anyways, sold all my stuff, you know, in the real money auction house. Made quite a bit of money. Stopped playing because I was like, this game sucks. I'm not finding anything good. I'm bored. The grind has got to me, so I quit. And I went back to Xbox, Gears of War 3, started playing that like crazy again. But, I saw the whole Paragon level thing, and you know, I was like, let's go check that out. And honestly, it's pretty fun. I don't know why, I didn't think that just leveling more would, you know, give my attention. But they also, they did make the items a little bit better. I don't know if they messed with the drop rates or not, but... I have found two legendaries this week that I've been back playing. One of them actually happened today, and it's right up here on the video in a minute. And I was like, sweet, I just started recording first time ever, and there's a legendary. Maybe this is good luck. But, uh, yeah, you haven't seen Diablo stuff on my channel before, and this will not be the last time. It is the first time. Um, but my history with Diablo is long. I've played Diablo for probably... I'm saying 11 years probably and uh, there's a legendary I didn't think it was very good so I just listed it on the gold auction house you know for whatever it sell, will sell for I listed it it's starting at like 2500 gold so hopefully it gets a little bit because I need it because my gear is so crappy now but anyways I've played Diablo for at least 11 years I'd say and uh, just been you know playing the crap out of it ever since I really was into Diablo 2 um, I got in not very uh, excuse me there's one of those verbs I'm not very proud to say it but I got into duping I got into botting I got into all that stuff in Diablo 2 and I got not only did I get into it but I got into it heavy so there was a many and many hours spent on that stuff and my computer was on 24 7 with a bot running collect an items for me so I can sell them but uh, most of my time in Diablo 2 kind of had to do with duping but not really it was more getting the Nihilus charms but if you're really into getting the Nihilus charms and I'm talking about thousands of them in Diablo 2 you know that duping was part of it because you had to have non-ladder Stones of Jordan rings to sell to the merchant and you had to have between 75 and 125 of them every time you wanted to get a Nihilus Charms to sell to the merchants. So you had to have a lot of them, or you had to have a bunch of people get together and everybody contribute 8 or 10 or 12 or 20 or whatever, and then you would all walk in. And we had bot programs that would make a game, leave the game, make a game, leave the game, make a game, leave the game, like every second. And I, ha I would have 16 or 24 bots running at a time, each of them making a game every three seconds, trying to find certain IPs. When it, when they would find an IP, it would pop up on my screen like a kaching, and it would say a game name and a password. And I would go into one of my 60 Diablo windows I had open and my hell level one characters and pop into that game and sit in it until we walked in. And then I would go in there with my bot with my uh, um. The clone killer guy, I had a little smiter. I would go in there and smite it. Actually, I had a smiter and I had an Amazon. I can't remember what it was called. The Amazon. 
it was all lightning damage, I remember that, but it would kill him like psh, psh, and it would be dead. And I'd pick up the Nile Charm, take it to Act 1, drop it on the ground, pick it up with my level 1, leave the game, go on to the next game. And we're talking about at the least when I was just screwing around like 20 games. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 80, 100 Nile Charms per night. And then I was able to sell those on uh, eBay for a while for anywhere from two to twenty bucks, depending on you know how recently the ladder reset and uh, how many people wanted them and all that stuff. And they were all perfectly legit. I mean, they were real analysis charms, and I wasn't screwing anybody. So yes, I was duping. Yes, I was botting, but I was never screwed anybody. Never was screwing anybody. Never sold anything to anybody that was unperm that they didn't know was unperm. I'll put that on there because I did sell some jewels and some rune, you know, some high rune packages and non ladder stones of Jordans. But when I sold those, those people knew because I would I would tell them directly, this is unperm. You be careful with it or it will poof. So, you know, that was a thing really was into that for a while and that's the only reason I played for a while there was no playing Diablo 2 for a long time it was just getting the Nihilus Charm and as many as we could get and I mean I had hundreds of Nihilus Charms at a time I had thousands of non ladder Stones and Jordans at a time I had tens of thousands form gold at a time and it was just it was crazy for a while it was a lot of fun sorry I just hit my desk it was a lot of fun, but it was shady, and you know that's that's in the past. So I just admitted all that to you guys, so you know where I'm coming from. I'm not a noob at this Diablo thing. I've been very into it for a long time. Um, in the next video I put out, it's going to be after all these elites in Act One that I killed. It's going to be uh, continuing on with this run. It'll be killing the warden and all the elites around the warden, and then it will go on to the butcher and all the elites around the butcher and all that kind of stuff so if there's anything you want me to talk about in the next video specifically go ahead and list it down there in the comments and I'll talk about it and uh, if there's something you need help with then let me know I could probably help you with it in Diablo 3 um, Diablo 2 I could probably too I have a lot of friends that still play that I don't play that anymore I haven't for a long time um, for all my characters are probably long gone but I probably definitely have some people that could help you with whatever you need. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm back to Diablo 3, you know, playing, having a lot of fun. My wife hates it, but I love it. Um, what brought me back was the Paragon levels that I said, and the items they buffed a little bit. And now today, when I was at work, I saw the, uh, yeah, sometimes I get on computer when I work, don't tell anybody. Um, I saw the next patch notes, the little sneak peek notes that they give you, talking about the uber bosses or monsters, and talking about the, you know, setting the game difficulty, the eight players or two players or whatever you want, and talking about the, you know, buffing up the skills and so you don't need so many defensive skills and all. That. It sounds like it's gonna get even easier. People say it's hard, but I don't know. I've only been playing for, you know four or five days now and I'm just running through Act 1 again starting to nothing. Act 1 Inferno so I don't think it's hard but some people do so they're buffing it again and whatever which is all good but that whole next patch thing sounds pretty cool I like the uber thing I don't think it's gonna be like Diablo 2 the Diablo clone or uber Diablo I think it's gonna be more like the uber Tristram if you guys remember that where you had to get the keys you know and then you had to get the body part the organs and you know do all that kind of stuff to get in there and kill the ubers and then you got the torch but I think it's gonna be something like that but I hope it is something like an Annihilus Charm or a torch where all the characters are gonna need one and they're all gonna want one and it, it doesn't really matter what character it is you're gonna want it whether it's a witch doctor you're gonna want one whether it's a wizard you're gonna want one if it's a monk you're gonna want one because I want something to farm that I can you know somehow sell like for form gold something like that I'm not gonna well, actually yeah they have the auction house now so it'd be awesome I want something I can farm spend my time farming that's actually more rewarding than farming items in the other three because we all know how sucky that is I want something that I can farm and 
you know, try to make some money at it and keep me interested. So, hopefully it's something like that. You know, that'd be awesome. But you saw me in this run, I was salvaging stuff and picking up gold and stuff like that. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to get started again. So, I'm picking up all the level 60 stuff and salvaging it, and selling the essences, and blah, 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 all that crap. And then in the next video, I'll do the, you know, I'll continue on with this run. I just thought it was too long to put in one video, but listen. This is not the last Diablo video you're going to see from me. If you like Diablo, if you like experienced people talking about it, if you want somebody to, to watch and talk to, hit me up with subscribe, give me a like, show me you like it, and I will talk to you on the next video. Okay, guys? Enjoy. Hope you enjoyed, and have a nice day. Later.